Hello, my name is Matt. I'm a full-time eBay seller, as well as Poshmark. And we're gonna go on a little bit of a hunt today. So I'm gonna take you onto eBay and show you one method of finding new brands to resell. I'm gonna search for brands. None of this is planned out. I don't know what I'm gonna look for, what I'm gonna find. What I'm looking for is brands that I can sell for decent money and that have really strong sell-through. That's the most important thing to me, typically, is sell-through rate. And I look for stuff that has 100% sell-through or higher, meaning the actives will match the solds. The solds are calculated over a 90-day period, so if the actives match the solds, depending on seasonality, there's a decent chance that the thing that you sell or list will sell within 90 days. I especially like it when the solds are bigger than the active, so two or three times higher, and there aren't that many of those brands, but there are enough that it's worth looking for. So what I'm gonna do is search for some women's stuff because that's outside my wheelhouse. I'm more likely to find something. So let's just try yoga pants. And I'm gonna go into the sold listings here. I'm gonna do pre-owned, which is important because new with tag stuff is gonna be worth more money than used stuff. And we're primarily sourcing used. And we're gonna click down to the sold listings. And then we're gonna control for price. So we're gonna go 15 to 35. And then I'm just gonna scroll down and I'm gonna look for a brand that I don't recognize here. Prana, Lululemon, Fit Rebel. Okay, I don't know that one. Fit Rebel, yoga pants. And then I'm just gonna look at those metrics. So there's three actives right now, five solds. Okay, no tag visible on those for some reason. This might be a specific model of yoga pant and not a brand. Oh, one of those was a Nike. What have I done? I'm calling a false alarm on that one. There's just something screwy happening with those keywords. I can't get a beat on it. So disregard. Gymshark. I don't know Gymshark. Let's just search the brand. And let's make sure that it's used. So about 2000. Currently active. Okay, we did it. Good work team. Gymshark, wow. So 2X Elther on Gymshark used stuff. It looks like it's mostly women's. A hundred bucks. Wow. Jim Charles. The brand is so strong that you can misspell it and people will still spend $100. This is going in the Rolodex of good brands. This is useful because you can go on Poshmark and you can search low to high and you can potentially find Gymshark stuff that people have not identified as being worth money. Or go on eBay and run the same experiment and get it sent to your house as long as the condition is acceptable. Then you can flip it and you can find a list of brands potentially on my channel that you can do that experiment with. And top view, cursory first pass, I think Gymshark is a win. Onzi, onesie, let's check that one. Onzi, you know the pants. So 78 sold, prices look good. All right, here's an example of one that I actually wouldn't pick up. 217 versus 78 for Onzi yoga pants. We can check the brand as a whole. But I don't like those numbers. I don't like the, those sell-through numbers. If the stuff was selling for like 100 bucks and I could come in and undercut the market, sell it at 60 and make a quick flip out of it, that would be one story. But if it's just general purpose, run-of-the-mill bread and butter pieces that are selling for like 15 to 30 bucks, then what's the point really? Um, yeah, this is a dead end. All right, let's keep going. Okay, Maurice's. I don't know that one. 10 solds, 36, and prices are not making my mouth water, so we're gonna keep going here. Lucy, I don't know, let's check Lucy. Six six five, and we're looking at new and used here. Three ten, fifty percent sell through. I mean, depending on your business model, these might be good brands. I'm just um, a pervert for high sell through. 
and there's legitimate reasons to be that way. But if you have more space and more patience and more money that you're willing to invest, then these might be good options. Prana, prana. I want to find like one more in yoga pants. Beyond yoga pants, all right. I like those prices, 173 sold, 241. That's pretty close. Honestly, that's not bad. Let's see what the bottom of the market is. You know, I like the 100% sell through, but I'm not a complete hardliner. 20 bucks, 20 bucks, 20 bucks. 25. Yeah, I, I don't hate it. 295, let's see what they actually sell for. I like it. If I found these at a thrift store, if I found them for like five bucks or less, or as part of a Poshmark, part, part of a Poshmark, part of a Poshmark bundle, I would pick these up. You're not gonna stand to make a whole lot of money, but I mean, this is this is really solid. And it looks like Beyond is actually the brand. Let's find the tag. Beyond Yoga. Let's search for that whole whole brand here. So 1800, 1352, okay, same story. Yeah, this is a solid brand. Really decent. Okay, let's do something else. Um, something I'm not good with. Something I don't know anything about. Let's do a cardigan. Because I know those are selling pretty well. Let's bump this up to 20. So obviously I know anthropology, but anthropology has all of these sub brands that get really confusing. Good prices here, 409. Nope. Don't like the sell through. Antonio Milani. Yikes, this is probably not gonna work out. 14 grand. Let's at least winnow it down to just pre-owned. So 8,000, no ma'am. Duff, interesting. Seventy-two, good prices. Forty, it's pretty marginal. Let's try cashmere. And you know, ideally we're looking for a brand that we can just see the tag and say, ah, oh, that's gonna be universally high sell through. But sometimes if you narrow it down to a specific thing, that's still useful information. So 40 sold, 70, eh, eh, I say. Elamas. Six, three, two. This is what it's gonna be for the most part. I got pretty fortunate with the yoga pants right off the bat. Scare. Scandinavian brands tend to be really strong and that looks Scandinavian to me. Another okay brand. I do like the prices. Prices are high enough that it might justify picking one of these up. Let's look at the tag. I mean, most YouTubers, I feel like most sellers, those would be really appealing numbers. 50% sell through, you can figure that you'll flip it sometime that year. Perfectly reasonable thing to pick up if you're comfortable with that kind of a timeline, especially something like this. It's Shetland wool, 100% Shetland wool. It's vintage, it's on trend. If I found that, I would pick it up. But I'm really after those juicy meat falling off the bones brands that you can just see the tag and go, cuddle duds, that sounds modern. Hmm. 
down specifically. Okay, 1,700 sold that are used. Aha! Aha! <laughs> All right, we got one. Let's look at the pricing. Um, pretty cheap. I think these are pajamas. So this is something that maybe wouldn't be worth sourcing online because you're going to have to pay shipping and pay the seller enough for it to be worth it for them. So I would say if you can find this for real cheap thrifting, then why not? Let's do ended recently. So even, even something like this, if I ended up selling a Cuddle Duds piece for 15 or 20 bucks, if you pick it up for five, even if I pick it up for seven or eight, if I know that it's gonna sell, if I know that the demand is there, it makes sense to put in a little bit more money, make a smaller margin because it's a virtually guaranteed margin. That's how I think about it. So, all right, we did it. <laughs> I found a pajamas brand with 100% sell through, pre-owned, which I would not have anticipated. C-U-D-D-L duds, let's look at the tag. There it is. I've seen that before, somewhere. Cuddle duds. Yeah, I mean, if I saw this in a Goodwill, I would pass it up, probably wouldn't even look it up. Sweet. All right, let's do women's jeans. That's gonna be fun. Let's actually make it more fun. Let's shoot for a higher price bracket. Let's go 30. to 80. Blue Suki. Maybe the brand is Suki. So six and a half thousand active and used Suki jeans. About 50% sell through, but good prices. Again, if you found this at the bins, it would definitely be worth, worth picking up, but it's not quite that slam dunk that I'm looking for. Big star, good American jeans. Mm, I'm gonna search that even though I'm gonna get a lot of fluff. Uh, okay, never mind. Gold sign. Seventy-nine. Nah. Damn. T S Subi. Liking the prices. Is it 89 to uh, Alla Johnson? 39. Look at those prices, my God. All right, not 100% sell through, but good Lord. Look at the prices. So, yeah. Based on the prices, I mean, if I can find this for even like 20 bucks and then come in and sell it, just list it for like 50 or 60, even though I'm making a thinner margin, that becomes a really quick flip because it's so underpriced. Although something like this, it might just be worth picking it up and listing it at 150 if it's the right item. Yeah, these are used, look at that, 100 to 150. It looks like the jeans don't necessarily sell. Let's just check the brand in general. 305 sold, 912. So the sell through isn't that great. Pretty strong though. It's good to know these brands. And you know, this isn't like a Gucci or a Prada or whatever. This isn't a brand that people talk about. I've never heard of it. Ola Johnson. All right, there's the tag. Be on the lookout for that one. Silver Francis. Another good one. Not a great one. Not what we want, but decent. I have a feeling silver is the brand. Francis is the cut. C. Cavaricci. 222. 1,000, swing and a miss. K 
Keep seeing these Sukis. I don't know. This is a good tip. Anything with fringe on it is going to be more sale worthy going forward. Sundance. Driftwood. All right, so I think Sundance is the brand. Sundance. Looks like it might be an anthropology brand. Look at these. So it was 83 used, active, 69 sold. Close enough for me. And look at these prices. Man, I'm really pleased with how many brands I'm actually, <laughs> actually zeroing in on here. What is this, four, five, 100% sell through? Relatively higher dollar brands except for Cuddle Duds. And it's been like half an hour. Let's try something else here. Women, let's just do something real generic. I guess that's redundant, isn't it? Let's do blouse. New Farm Rio. So f looks like Farm Rio is the brand. 896 solds too. Uh, okay, but look at the prices. All right, I don't have to go through the song and dance again. This is a decent brand. This is another one that you could come in and just list something for 30, 40 bucks and have it sell like that because clearly there is demand for it. But that sell through might be going through a little bit of a bottleneck just because the stuff is, is more expensive. So this looks like a pretty healthy brand to me. Doesn't fit my literal criteria, but I would definitely sell this. And this is the kind of thing that I would actually source online because look at the prices, 150 bucks for a used dress. Pretty memorable tag. Let's do one more, one more brand. Another Ola Johnson. And Thea Crawford. Then obviously you can do this with Ben stuff too. If you watch any of my videos, they focus on men's brands that, that fit into this mold. Eh, not bad. Not quite there. Rebecca Taylor. Pretty close. All right, let's narrow it down. Okay, 8,000 pre-owned actives. Look at those prices. Sold market is not that strong, and look at those prices. Johnny was 15 grand. Let's throw pre-owned on there. All right, 4,000 actives. 4,000 sold, we did it, my friends. The final brand of the video. 100% sell through on Johnny Was as a brand, pre-owned. Look at the prices. We've done it again. We have pulled off a caper. It looks vintage to me. We did it. I think that's six brands, right? Over the course of like 30 to 45 minutes, six brands that I can look up on Poshmark and be relatively well assured that if I can get it for a good price, I can flip it for a better price and make money. And of course, this is also good to have in the back of your head when you're out thrifting, so you don't have to look this particular tag up on the phone. It is a little more time efficient just to look do the searches as you're flipping through the racks, and these are easy to do on the phone as they are on the desktop. But in these circumstances, pretty cool. Pretty cool, I'm pretty proud, pretty uh, pleased with, with the results here. So hopefully you can replicate it. if you go in and you treasure hunt for some brands, then um, I would love to know them. Feel free to leave them in the comments. You don't have to, but it could be fun to collaborate as a little community on this. So hope this, this gives you a sense of, of how to find brands and these specific brands can make you money probably. So thanks for watching and good luck. Happy hunting.